So, some critical health research is going on in our area, and I was part of a study. I'm participating in a pancreatic cyst surveillance research initiative at Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center. They found a cyst on my pancreas, and they told me to get an endoscopy with ultrasound, so I did. You never want to ignore something that could later on cause more damage to you. What we're trying to do here is find out as much information as we can about a cyst that has the potential of doing you harm in the future. The five-year survivability rate for patients with pancreatic cancer has gone up the last two years. That's great news, but it's still just at 12 percent. That's why surveillance programs like this are so important. Unfortunately, we've made no progress in the last 30 years when it comes to management and prognosis. The best management is to try to prevent it in the first place, and that's what we're trying to do here. Most of these pancreatic cysts never turn into anything. Some of them turn into cancer, and what we're trying to do here is understand why and which ones do turn into cancer so that we can prevent it in the future. Stick your tongue out. Okay, swallow. <laughs> Not Mountain Dew. Take some deep breaths in and out. So right now we're looking at the pancreatic head. Your pancreas sits behind your stomach. So with an endoscope, a camera, and an ultrasound, we're going to examine the pancreas, see if there's any lesions, see if there's any cysts. And then we have the ability with the needle to go right through your stomach and sample any lesion in your pancreas. This cyst, there's no Doppler flow. We're understanding more and more how these pancreatic cysts act over many years, depending on their size, their characteristics, their genetic analysis. We're trying to establish what type of cyst it is so we know what to do in the future. Everything went really well. John has a very healthy pancreas, um, just one cyst which is likely mucinous, uh, but we're going to wait on the analysis of the fluid that we obtained today. So that's the next step. We get that data back in about a week. I did take a CA199 blood test, and some of you may know that that is looking for cancer antigens. So that would give me a tumor marker. If I pass that oh, wow. and I get it all clear on the cyst, then we're all Okay, good. so fingers crossed. And yeah. thanks for bringing us along for this journey. Take care of yourself. Yes, if you have sure. a cyst, have somebody look at it. All right, we'll be right back.